All Recipes member S.D. Rosie says this recipe for slow cooker apple crisp is an easy way to make a wonderful comfort food using those abundant fall apples. Let's begin by making the topping. In a medium bowl with one cup of all-purpose flour, add half a cup of light brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a pinch of salt, and mix them all together. Add half a cup of butter that's been cut into small pieces. Combine the butter with the flour mixture using your fingers or a fork until coarse crumbs form. Stir in one cup of chopped walnuts and set the topping aside. Next, into a small bowl with a third of a cup of sugar or to taste, add one tablespoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Whisk this together. Then place six cups of peeled, cored, and chopped apples into a slow cooker. You'll need five to six apples and a mixture of sweet and tart tastes great, such as mixing Fuji's and Granny Smith's. Stir in the cornstarch mixture. And toss with two tablespoons of lemon juice. Next, sprinkle the walnut crumb topping over the apples. Cover the slow cooker and cook on high for two hours or on low for four hours until the apples are tender. After the apples have cooked, partially uncover the slow cooker to allow the topping to harden for about one hour. Serve this slow cooker apple crisp warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. All Recipes member Bayfield comments, very good and easy. I think next time I will add a little oatmeal to the crumb mixture. Good flavors and just as good the next day.